Well, hello. Hi. Coming to y'all with the, the red eyes. Um, so I did a day with me um, for March 14th, which is today, the day my dad died. And every year I do purple for Randy, so shout out to everybody who wore purple today. Um, and if I cry in this video, look, I'm just going to have to cry, so it's happening. Um, and this part, I'm actually back home, so this part will be the beginning. I don't know what this is doing, but it's doing it. <clears throat> this part, I wanted this part to be the beginning instead of the end. Um, because I was, I had my moment. Um, usually I have a mix of emotions on this day. I'm angry. Um, I have my cries. I get emotional. But for the most part, I'm angry. Um, and I think people need to understand because there's a, even in the hard time, there's a, always a testimony of something. I think people need to understand that it's okay to be angry. It's okay to be angry at God. Because he already knows that you're angry anyway. So, it's okay. Like, it happens. It, yo, it's not fair moments. They're going to happen. So, for me, I just, I look at it and I'm like, it's, it's not fair. Um, you know, my dad was, he died from domestic violence. Uh, he was killed by a woman. A woman who did not go to jail, a woman did not uh, that didn't get arrested, and I remember being 11 years old writing a letter to the court, like about what kind of father he was, and begging them, like you know, to to bring it to the grand jury or write a letter to the grand jury, and a child shouldn't have to do that. A child should not have to do that um, because it's not fair. It's it's not fair the way he died. And domestic violence is a common thing, unfortunately. It's something that people go through all the time. And everybody doesn't survive. And I think people have to understand that. I think people need to understand the importance of it. And people need to do more to help. People, you know, even if you don't do anything major, like, I just have everybody wear purple on the 14th, like, or take a picture with some purple. Like, I always try to find some type of purpose in everything. And my anger comes from not only my dad being taken away when I was 11, but my grandpa, my dad died in 2004. My grandpa died in 2005. My godfather died in 2007. And my godfather was my father figure. Like, he was what, he was my father figure. So it hurt me <clears throat> when he passed away. And he was, both him and my dad were very young. They were like in their early 30s. So, um, and then in 20... 15 I lost the the last grandpa I had and the one man that was in my life that mom was married to abused me so I look at it sometimes and I'm like it's not fair that I literally had to grow up with no father figure I had to grow up with no real man in my life you know luckily I still had my grandpa up until 2015 but Losing three men and then having to deal with abuse, it's, it's not, it's not easy. Uh, it made my life tough. It made my teenage years horrible. <laughs> because a daughter is supposed to look at their father and their father is supposed to love them unconditionally and they look up to them. And the father teaches them the man that they're supposed to be with, how a man should love them. And I, I didn't learn that. I didn't learn that. I had the example of abuse. So my thing was promiscuity. Like, that's what I thought it was. That's what I thought it was supposed to be. Because I didn't have anybody to actually teach me. Like, my godfather taught me as much as he could. 
but I was young at the time, so I didn't really understand, like, what it was he was teaching me. And being abused takes away from all of the positive things that you learn. Um, so I look at it as, and I, I find myself thinking about, like, other people in my life. And not everybody in my life has their dad around, know who their dad is, or, you know, whatever. But the fact that they're still here is the part that gets me. And when I was younger, uh, and this is completely transparent moment, like, I don't care who get mad. <laughs> Do I ever? But I remember being little, and, like, my uncle wasn't the best dad to my cousin. And so she would talk about that, and I'm like, but at least he ain't dead, though. Like, that was that was always, that was always my defense. It's like, you can't complain because at least your daddy's still alive. He's there. He still has time to get it together. Like, he's still on earth. <clears throat> I hate that man with that loud truck. But I just really, <clears throat> the day just not only makes me think about my dad, it makes me think about all the men in my life that died. So I had to grow up without that. And it caused me to make bad decisions with relationships even as an adult, like, I'm forever going to have daddy issues. I, I'm forever going to have daddy issues. It's 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 going to happen. I have abandonment issues, and I came to terms that I had abandonment issues a long time ago because what I do is I attach myself to older father or grandfather-like figures, whether it's, like, my friend's dad's or even like with Ronnie's dad and you know a lot of y'all seen my neighbor James across the street like he's an older man so I look at him like a dad or a grandpa and he told me the other day he was moving and I was like no like you can't leave me like <laughs> you can't you can't go nowhere and a lot of that comes from not having a father figure or any type of male role model in your life so that's the part that makes me mad because it's like why why would you do that to me why why would you take away all of the father the the men in my life and what what how how am i supposed to learn what love is how am i supposed to know what a successful relationship is and i think that's why <clears throat> I stayed by myself a lot after I had my last relationship, not Rodney, the one before that. And I was single for seven years because I had to find myself again. Like, I had went through so much with me, and it was like I had to find out who I was. And <clears throat> when I when I think about it, it's like, bro, it's, it's, it's not fair, dog. Like, and it pisses me off. Because I already got anger issues. And it took everything in me not to punch a hole in the wall. Because it was like, it was the way he he died. Like, it was, it was the way he died. That's the part that hurt the most, is that everybody else died from natural causes from being sick, but he was murdered. Like, he was murdered. He, was, he didn't die, he was taken. And he had a conversation with my mom, and I just found this out the other day. Because my dad had 10 kids by 10 different women. Papa was definitely a rolling stone. Um, and my mama told me about a conversation they had in December before he died in March. And he asked my mama, because my daddy and my mama were still friends at the end of the day. And he was like, how long do you think I'm going to be able to hurt women before I get hurt or before something happened to me? And my mama told him, you know, 
you got to make a change. You got to start treating women right. You got to do something different. And he was on the road to change like I truly believe he was. And it's like, before he could get there, some crazy woman comes and decides, no. And the messed up part about it was she knew me and my sisters. Like, she bought us stuff. We was around her. Like, she was a part of our lives. So you knew about us. And you still didn't. You didn't think about what that was going to do to his kids. You didn't think about what that was going to do to his girls. You just took him. For what? For what? And when I saw her in, <clears throat> because <laughs> this is why I'm so big on forgiveness, because I held so much anger for this lady the, my whole life, like literally. When it, I got her address one time, I wanted to pull up so bad. Like, y'all don't understand that I wanted to, bro, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat your ass. I wanted every part of her. Like, I wanted to literally beat her. And because I'm not, I'm not going to let you go out that easy. Because I'm going to beat you and I'm going to make you think about it. And I'm going to tell you why, why I'm doing it. But God tested my forgiveness and he put her in front of me at church. And I tell that story a lot because he said, I'm going to put your biggest enemy in front of you and I'm going to see how you act. I didn't freak out. I didn't want to fight her. I didn't do none of that. The only thing I wanted to know was why. To this day, I just want to know why. And I don't know if that why will bring me closure. Because she probably don't even know why. But, and you know, we all say, you know, when, when, it's time, when it's your time to go, it's your time to go. But again, when you dealing with grief and you dealing with days like this, you get into that mindset of it's still not fair, though. And it's, again, it's, it's not the fact that he died, it's how he died. <clears throat> and that's the part I don't feel like is fair because this lady was able to take away from me a half of my life a half of my heart I got one parent left and get away with it And that's the part that makes me angry and that, that hurts because it's like, not him, but they all gone. Like, they all gone. I don't have no moment in my life, that's it. And it's not, it's not fair because I have to, I still have to grow up as an adult. And it don't matter how old I get, I'm still going to have those daddy issues. I'm still, I saw it even in my relationship with Rodney. Like, I still have those abandonment issues in those like, I just wanted to feel what actual, like, love was. I just, I just wanted my dad. I was a daddy's girl. Like, anytime my mama wouldn't let me go with my daddy, I would throw a fit. If I couldn't go with my daddy and my sisters, I would, I would throw a fit. <laughs> like, a full fit. Because it's like, Bruh, I want to go with my daddy, dog. <laughs> like, I, I want my daddy. 
I don't I don't care that he's not in my life that much. I want my daddy. So that's the part that that gets to me. And so I told myself I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do something with this. And I will say that that pain of not having them around is literally what pushes me. It's it pushes me. Like I literally look at it and I'm like, like when I look at their picture and I'm if I'm crying or something like that, I'll be like, watch me work. Watch me work. Like I'm 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 finna I'm bringing the heat. I'm bringing the heat in every way I possibly can. I am bringing the heat. Period. So, um, I had to say that, and I say that to say, even in pain. And I, they have the saying, uh. You know, they're still with us, and I believe that. I be, like literally, I believe I have visions of every every one of them that I've lost covering me. Like, like they just all in a circle, like covering me when I'm driving, when I'm sleep, when I'm walking around. Like they're there, so I know they're there. They're watching everything. They're pushing me and making, creating these blessings for me to get to where I am. And I have to remind myself who I am. Like, everything that I've accomplished, because I'm bad with that. Like, I don't celebrate my accomplishments enough. Like, I got books, published author, publisher, accounting, nonprofit founder. Like, it's so much. So I have to remind myself, like, hey, if they was here, you know they don't play them games they'd be pushing you. So you have to be able to push yourself even though they're not here. But at the end of the day, it still hurts that they're not here physically because sometimes I just be wanting to hug or sometimes I just be wanting to see their face or laugh with them. Like, that's all I be wanting. And I, when I realize I can't do that, that's the part that hurt me. That's the part that made me mad. That's the part that made me sad is I literally just want a hug. And I can't have that. And there's a lot of people out here who can't. I'm not the only one. So, take whatever anger you have. And it's okay to be angry. It's okay to cry. Like, like I said, God knows you're angry anyway. So you might as well own it. Like, it's okay to be angry. So it's okay to be angry at him. You're going to have the moments. But don't stay there. Take that anger. Take that pain. Take those tears and turn them into purpose. Because what God did not intend is for you not to have purpose, for you not to have a happy life and peaceful life. That's not even what the people you lost want for you. That's, that's not what they want for you. So, I will continue this vlog going to be long, child. Because this is the beginning of it. And y'all can see I'm moving on to the day that I actually had. Y'all going to see me get mad. Y'all going to see me go shopping. Y'all going to see VP show up. So, there's there's happier moments to come. There's laughs to come in my foolishness. But I had to put this part in the beginning. I feel like this part needed to be in the beginning. Um, and for those out there who, actually, who have their dads in their life, don't take it for granted. Don't, don't take it for granted. Call them, hug them, tell them you love them. Whatever you got to do, 
don't don't take it for granted. Especially if you're a woman. So, let me go. I got to redecorate the house because that's what I do when I'm not in a good mood. So, let's get into this vlog. Purple for Randy. Daddy, I love you. March 14, 2004. March 14, 2022. Let's fight against domestic violence. We ended domestic violence. All right. I'm out this thing. Purple for Randy. Today is Purple for Randy Day. Can y'all tell I just woke up? Is it obvious? Um. Uh, Is it obvious? Um, yeah, I'm not with the shit today. Definitely not with the shit today. Today is March 14th. I was like, let me vlog to keep myself sane before I have to curse somebody out. Yep, yep. I be trying to stay calm and positive. Um, if you in your purple, I better have seen it. I better have seen it. Because it's going to go up after the 14th, so I better have seen it. Alright. And while y'all at it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Mm. Make sure you like, comment, and sub subscribe. <laughs> Girl, if you don't wake up, it's 11 voices. Quit playing with me. Why people be wanting to send group texts? <laughs> Bro, leave me alone. I'm cutting my phone off. I'm for sure cutting my phone off. Do not disturb. Because... Baby, I'm gonna cut somebody out just on GP. And it ain't even their fault. It ain't my fault. So if you out there and I cussed you out today, I apologize. I apologize. I'm just trying to stay sane throughout the day because I hate this day. This day and Father's Day be the worst. Father's Day really be bad. I can handle the 14th more than I can handle Father's Day. I cannot handle Father's I hate Father's Day. Like, I just sit in my house all day and stay off my phone. Because the part that be getting me... Uh, is people posting pictures with their dads. That's the part that be getting me. All the Father's Day posts. I be like, mm-mm. That's all right. I'm going to go and stay off it. And then, y'all know, the algorithm on social media be showing fucking posts from three days ago. So, I'll still see the shit when I get on there three days later. But, by the end, it don't be as bad because Father's Day already over with. So, I'll be all right. I'll be cool. I'll be cool. I'll be trying to stay cool, bro. My cousin texted me. Shout out to my cousin Ashley one time. Um, but yeah. My level of give a fuck. It's low. It's real. I don't even think it's there. It's missing. It's gone. It's gone. I'm putting on different shades of purple today. I'm finna look like a big old walking purple magnet. I wish I had some purple earrings. I feel like I do in there somewhere, but I don't feel like looking for them. I gotta go get y'all shirts. <laughs> girl. Girl, where is you going? Girl, with the damn... You know what? Fuck it. I'm just... This me. This me. It's me all day. I'm just, this is what we finna do. This this what, this is what we gonna do. This this is what we gonna do. You understand? It's happening. We walking around like this in real life. This, we are definitely walking around like this in real life. Because I don't care. Who gonna say something? Hmm? Who gonna say something? I dare you. I double dog dare you. This point i'm just talking to y'all i ain't did an actual vlog and i don't know how long 
like an actual, like this because I don't live in a town. I don't live in a town. Girl, did you even spray water on the shit? I think this curl loose. I don't think this is going to be effective. Ooh, it's going to be hell getting these braids out of my head. My mom going to take these down. I'm not taking these down. I'm not doing it. Mommy's taking these down because I don't want to. Okay. I did my edges. I'm proud, even though I covered them up. Okay, y'all, <laughs> I had to mute this clip because I was definitely playing Big Mo. Um, that's my nigga. Like, I'm from H-Town, first of all. Like, and I'm a thug in real life, so I definitely was popping my shit. Like, this, this beat me in the car. Like, man, man, I dropped the block like fan. Man, see my propellers when the land. <laughs> I was going off. But wait for it, though. Like, I'm about to get so mad. Like, you can see the anger in my face because I cannot get out of the Starbucks parking lot. I was pissed. Like, I was big pissed. Like, normally, I don't even yell like that or honk at people. But I was with the shit. Like, I was choosing violence. I was definitely choosing violence. And, like, shout out to Natalie. They had the complexion for the protection. So that definitely pissed me off even more. Like, I was a You can see, look at the anger dripping from my face. Like, I yelled so many cuss words. I just, I was angry. Look, look, look at, look <laughs> at. I was pissed. And I couldn't, I didn't record it because the music was still playing. So, but it's good I didn't because I was definitely cussing my ass off. Like, I was a lot of shit. Look at <laughs> that. was in my way. <laughs> I was so mad. Oh, my God. Look at, look at my face. Look, look at my face. It then goes back to rapping. You know what? I make myself sick. <laughs> Continue to vlog. Okay, y'all. First of all, let me tell you what's not gonna happen. <clears throat> let me tell you what's not. Sorry, it's my turn. Shut up. Um, I'm not with the shit today. Like, I don't feel like I should be on the road because, as y'all can see in the little clip that I showed, I was like, I'm listening to Big Mo. First of all, if you know, you know. Okay, so I'm listening to Big Mo because I got to get into some gangster shit today. Because if I don't listen to no gangster music, I ain't listen to no sad shit. And I ain't doing none of that because I ain't trying to cry and shit. So I'm choosing violence. I'm choosing violence. You know, I just, I ne I'm never in the mood. March 14th, I'm never in the fucking mood. I don't know why I just be wanting to fight everybody. But <laughs> my patience be so thin. And I think originally... When I started Purple for Randy, that was the goal. It was to take my mind off of the fact that my daddy died today and make something positive to keep me going. And that's why I started it. But even still, you can do whatever you want. When it hits you, it hits you. And it hit everybody different. Like Father's Day, I'm more sad. But on March 14th, I'm more pissed off. And I think it's because of the way he died that pisses me off. So, I really don't be having time for people fuck shit, and I'm trying to get out of Starbucks, and these motherfucking white, entitled-ass motherfucking old bitches think that they can get in, they, they sit in the fucking way. Bitch, move. Move. I leaned on my motherfucking horn so bad and dared that nigga to get out the car. I don't need to be out in the public. I don't need to be out in the general public, but I have to because I took off work today so that I can get things done for the gala. I got to pick up bags, shirts, everything else. Got to go shopping. Got to go to the store. Got to pick up donations. So I have to get as much done in one day as I can because I'm not going to be off again for a weekday until April 8th. So I have no choice but to be outside amongst the general public. But what we're not about to do is this. Okay. 
I done got that out the way. Uh, and I hate that YouTube be copywriting. Like, we can't have no jam sessions or nothing. Because I really be on some thug shit, y'all. Like, y'all would get a crack out of how thug life I really am. Like, I'm for sure thug life. I'm giving very much thug life. That's going to be my thumbnail. <laughs> oh, my God. That's going to be my <laughs> thumbnail. Thumbnail. Okay. But anyway. Yeah, that was weird because I really didn't feel like smiling. But, and nevertheless, I have mixed emotions. I, my emotions are all over the place. See, that's why I wanted a fucking stopper. Wasting my goddamn coffee all over the fucking place. They giving stickers out. What am I supposed to do with this? I'm supposed to do? I can't get jiggy with this shit. Damn it. And I can't even fucking get this shit because I'm fucking... It's gonna be a long ass vlog if y'all gonna be with me all day. Uh oh, glad I ain't hit that car. <laughs> Cause I'm for sure not paying attention. Starbucks, whoever is delivering the stoppers, can y'all please deliver the stoppers? Like, can the, the, can y'all distribute the stoppers to the Starbucks? Cause this is what we not gonna do. I'm I'm going to see Christian so I can pick up this stuff. So. Mm. Damn, that shit be strong in a bitch. It's always a hit or miss when I get coffee from Starbucks. Because it depends on whoever make it. Like, yesterday I got a cup full of cream. Today I got a cup full of fucking coffee and espresso. It really just depends on who makes the drink. Because when you order it online, it's just like, it'll say a splash and half and half. And motherfuckers, a splash is different to everybody be fuck else. drink it huh? Huh? I'm gonna drink it I gotta eat my little sandwich too because I will not eat today okay hold on y'all you vlogging? I am I was in the don't nobody want to see you back back so we can see the fit city. hey purple for Randy purple for Randy. Yeah, uniform you know. flip the hair one time flip the hair on them boop bitch you got me fucked up <laughs> <laughs> oh wait did you stop it uh uh oh I gotta, I gotta say my tagline. Oh, shit. Okay. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so that we can get paid off Miranda's fuckery. <laughs> I think you was gonna say that shit. Hey, no bullshit. I owe, look, I be telling about the time. Look, I owe, yesterday I was doing a vlog. I say, man, I owe Christian money and limbs. <laughs> <laughs> I owe that bitch a arm, leg, two thumbs. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's gonna be horrible when Natalie get here. We, the three of us, oh my god. Cutting up, make sure y'all buy y'all gala tickets too. Y'all, yeah, I've been promoting this. She gonna do a promotion for us. Um, hold on, y'all, we gotta talk gala talk. So I'm definitely not where I'm supposed to be. I'm shopping. I'm shopping, y'all. It's therapeutic. It's that retail therapy getting to me. I knew it was happening. I, I, I knew it was happening. I knew it was coming. I knew it was happening. I am redoing the living room again because the rug that I have sheds. So I'm redoing it. Girl. Girl. <laughs> I got a therapy appointment this week. I'm going to need you to find a better way. But what I can say is I am blessed to have the Chicoin to do it. Is one of my doors open? I need some gas. Oh, I need to get some milk while I'm in Target. I didn't bring y'all in the store with me when I went to Marshall's to buy my new pillows and I gotta go to Ross to get this rug and that line was so extremely long. Like, I... Uh-uh, what you doing? Stop sign, bitch. That line was so long. It was for sure long. 
it was it was definitely getting very much long um but i'm going to old navy uh can y'all tell i'm getting tired it's 308 is it 308 it's definitely 408 girl change the clock on your damn car damn they like savings they got this five below right here i want to go in that mug so bad that office depot closed i think is that office depot open uh -uh. come okay oh man so you just gonna turn in front of everybody oh okay oh okay because i see what's happening here the only thing i hate about my land, i'm getting a headache i'm getting a headache i need to eat I'm getting a headache. I'm getting frustrated. I gotta use the restroom. It's it's a lot going on. Um, do I want to walk over there to Target? Cause I really don't feel like fighting with these people in this traffic. I think I'm gonna walk. I need to walk. Why does it have to be 75 degrees today? Damn, it was just 50 some yesterday. Okay, I'm getting grouchy. Calm, calm it down. Calm it down. But, um, let me see. I might take y'all in. Oh, maybe. I'm gonna go in here and see if they got some tights. Real quick. Uh, I need to go to Office Depot. What was I even going to Office Depot for? Girl, nothing. Some shit you don't need. Shit. That's alright. It's gonna come in handy, whatever it is. But, uh, hold on, y'all. I'll be back. Okay. So I got y'all on director's view. Uh, but where is the tight stuff? I don't want people to be looking at me crazy. Let's see. Leggings. Is these three? I thought these were three ninety seven. I know you lying. Is these tight really? Come on, I need you to have my stuff. Don't start. Do not start. Oh, they got his four X's. Not them shorts. God, to be more careful. Uh. What? What? Oh, so y'all just don't care about us medium, us large folks. That's good, eh? Whew. Baby, this vlog gonna be all over the place. And I don't care. I'm gonna have to move because it's definitely gonna start raining. The ghetto. And y'all are definitely still on director's view. Mm-mm. Don't do that now. Nah. Hold on. Cause that water was hot. See, I ain't done too bad in Office Depot. <laughs> I still ain't gotta go to wrong. I had to get it. It had to happen. I had to, I'm gonna have so much shit to get out the car. Girl, 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 girl. You should be shy. You should be a goddamn shame. And I'm not. My phone gonna die. Oof, yeah. She gonna die. Here's my... Oh, y'all. I'm gonna have to give me some food. ASAP. I hope that this rodeo traffic don't kick my ass. What am I even going to Target for? Girl, it don't matter. <laughs> I got a... I got a problem. Be honest with me. I know you have a man, but do you still think of me when he's holding you? Tell me this one thing is it still my face you see? <laughs> so wrong with me, bro. Y'all, if you used to watch Medea plays, you know exactly what the fuck song I'm saying. <laughs> If you used to watch Medea plays, if you know, you know, my nigga. 
Oh, is this a front spot? I think that's a handicap, but it's definitely a front spot. Come on, girl, get out my way. Oh, yes. I didn't feel like bagging in. Okay, let me go spend my life in Target. Yeah, I pray I don't do that bad, but I will probably see y'all when I get home. And, uh, cause I'm gonna have a bunch of shit. It's happening. <laughs> we might as well do an unbagging. That's what we gonna do, an unbagging. Um, alright, so I'll be back. So, as y'all can see, I didn't come back. <laughs> because I put the end of the video. Oh, shit. I'm not redoing re this voiceover. Um, I put the end of the video in the beginning of the video, so, yeah, never came back, but nevertheless, the day ended up being okay, like, I was mad, I was happy, I laughed, I cried, I did all the things, I did all that, I did all that, I redid my living room, took back half the shit I bought, because I literally had the same shit at home, so, that sounds like some shit I do. That's definitely me. That's definitely me. I do that shit all the time. I'll go buy some shit and then take it back after I get home. But like, girl, you ain't need this. You ain't even need this. Take it back. I don't want too much. But to everybody who wore purple on March 14th, y'all are real. I fucks with y'all. Um, everybody who bought a tote bag, I fucks with y'all. Sent me pictures, sent me kind words. I fucks with y'all. Okay? The long way not the wrong way so therefore we're gonna end this off like this and again like i said in the beginning make sure you like comment and subscribe and let's continue forever the fight for domestic violence we end in all that okay hashtag purple for randy i'm out this thing love y'all bye